most of our processing views focused on looking at the touchscreen. Let's look at some of the other controls that are available on the surface. You'll notice that there's a color changing rotary encoder above every channel strip. Those rotary encoders are controlled by this row of buttons here. You've got gain and pan, which are fixed, and then one, two, three, and four are user selectable. To set up these, you'll press the surface button to the right of the screen, choose surface preferences, and under custom rotary functions, you have one, two, three, and four, and you have the choice between direct out, send level, high pass filter frequency, compressor threshold, channel level, which would be your main channel fader, or your AMM priority level. Any of these can be set to user preference on any one of the four user-defined encoders. There's a lot of information shown in the channel screen above each fader. The largest area, though, is usually taken up by the name. There are other options other than displaying the name. To choose these, you would use one of the selector buttons in between the fader banks. You have the choice between name, DB, which will show you the numerical value of the fader position, IO, which will show you the socket source of that channel, or the channel number. In addition to the input and output level metering above each fader, you also have a compressor gain reduction meter and a small LED that shows the open and closed state of the gate. A red LED indicates the gate as closed.